Okay, this is going to be an extremely quick video of uh, part of what I do as far as uh, tube radio restoration. Um, cleaning the tubes. You know, other than wiping them down and all that, some people use wire brushes on the pins. I think wire brushes can be a little bit too aggressive and uh, you can take off the plating uh, from what I read with the wire brush. So. Uh, I've tried what they call a, a, a tube survival kit from Deoxit. That company makes a uh, tube repair kit with a solution to soak the pins and also a solution for the uh, tube sockets. But I found that their solution for the sockets gelled up and uh, would actually uh, not work that well. But the brush worked really well. And their solution for the um, tube pins seen here uh, worked well but I read that uh, you get pure alcohol and it works just as well so what I do now is uh, I use the brush for the sockets with the uh, pure alcohol that there in the middle 99.9% .9 pure alcohol don't go to the store and get your garden variety alcohol like this from CVS 70% or dollar store 50% pure alcohol from what I read you want like at least 99.56 or better and I went ahead and uh, spent the money and got the 99.9 .9 cause uh, that's pure alcohol it doesn't have water in it and you don't want to soak your metal pins in in water basically uh, especially you're trying to enhance the connection not kill it with water so I soak them in the alcohol for 12 hours or more 12 hours to 24 hours and uh, they come out like this nice and shiny even sometimes you get new old stock tubes they have tarnish and oxidation and stuff on them and uh, soak them in pure alcohol and uh, come out like this clean the sockets with the alcohol and the uh, little two pin brush for the sockets and uh, it goes a long way of making them old uh, beautiful uh, tube radios work and perform like they're supposed to and last, another reason why I'm not giving away my radios that have been gone through like this. Bye.